Hi, in this video we are going to continue the installation of Microsoft Edge Cloud Server 2014 Express on Windows 10. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found on can be found here at this URL. Okay. Which is loaded here. Okay. Alright. And um so we have installed a, a management uh, we have installed the SQL Server, and um, we pin the Management Studio here. So let's go in again. And we can go in using SA and password, root pass. Okay, obviously the database is running. You can even stop and start the database engine from here. So now the database has started. Okay. All right, let's go out. The next thing I want to talk about is services. So if you search for services and start here, you will see that um, probably it's a good idea to pin the services here. So I'm going to pin the services to taskbar here. Right click and pin, okay. You will see that the MS SQL Server, the instance, which is under SQL Server, MS SQL Server is running. Okay, that's fine. You can stop it. Okay. or start it from here you can of course just now we talk about you can also stop and start it from the management studio that's exactly the same thing let me stop it here and I want to change this to right click right click on properties I want to change this to menu okay so if you change it to menu this SQL Server is not going to start when you um, restart your computer. If it's automatic, you automatically start. You will automatically start when you start your computer. So that is not very good. You don't want a ser SQL Server to be running in the background when you're playing your computer game and all that. That just take up too much system resources. Okay. So make it manual, and you can also do other things. You know, you want to make this. Uh, menu or things like that that is also okay all right okay I think um, that is a good place to um, that's a good place to um, stop this video okay so I, I stopped the um, SQL server all right and I, I changed this to menu and in the next video Okay, let's let's try to start start this and go in here again, go into the go into the management studio. Okay, in the next video we are going to see how to create databases here, um, our own user database and uh, Probably it's not a good idea to do that using um, SA um, system administrator and root pass. Probably we should create another another super user and another password for the super user to create a um, user database. But this is just a very simple exercise about C sharp dot net. It's not really we are not really doing SQL Server administration, so we just um, just do this, which is. It's not a good thing to do. I mean, we are breaking some of the rules of uh, system administration, but um, so that's what we are going to do next. Okay, so let's get out from here. 
Okay, let's stop this. And if you want, you can also stop this. And you know, and start this and make this menu and so on and so forth. Okay, so there are other things you can do here to control the processes. Um, okay, I think this is a good place to stop, so let's close this. In the next video, we are actually going to um, we're actually going to create a database. Okay, thanks for watching.